Good Friday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Turner. A lot of clouds overhead, and there'll be some minor travel impacts setting up over the next couple of days. The biggest concern I have is roads thawing and that are fairly wet right now. And then those area roads, like mountain passes, could be refreezing overnight into early tomorrow morning. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd, reporting for KBZK.com. Let's jump into the Pacifics. A lot of storm activity out here. Several storms. We've got one setting up just a little off the coast. That'll be moving in here by tomorrow. Another upper level low kind of uh, directing all the Pacific storms sitting up here in the Gulf of Alaska. And then another storm system sitting back here. So we got a fairly active weather pattern expected to set up over the next couple of days. But a lot of snow banding is occurring across the western half of our viewing area and again if you get caught underneath some of these uh, rogue little snow bands you could pick up a quick inch or two of snow uh, but for Bozeman uh, the chance for snow was very limited I think clear and cold by early tomorrow morning although by about seven eight o'clock clouds do roll back in and we start to pick up some snow especially at higher elevations slight chance for some valley snow in there off and on throughout the day uh, but this is a fairly disorganized and weak storm system with minor impacts. Uh, mountain passes have a much better chance for picking up periods of off and on snow versus the valley floor. So for the remainder of today, we'll see temperatures holding into the 20s and eventually slipping into the teens after midnight with in and out clouds and a slight chance for a little bit of valley snow, but a slightly better chance we'll pick up some hit and miss snow showers at higher elevations. Updates on that full weekend forecast for you tonight at 5.30 and 10 on KBCK.